It's a cool morning this morning. Mist is on the water. Well, time to get that fire going. Get breakfast going here. This is the outflow of Big Shell Lake. Tiny, uh, tiny, tiny outflow. The map says uh, it's a rock garden, no portage. Oh, there's some ducks taking off. So, uh, it looks like I may have to get my feet wet here, but we'll see if we can get out on the rocks and drag her through without too much damage. Well, I had to get my feet wet on day three. It's inevitable on a canoe trip, uh, especially linking creeks and lakes. It's nice to keep the feet dry on portages. I've got at least three today, and if I go further, I got about five. But feet are wet, had to get out and wade. Sabarin Creek here and I'll be camping on a small lake on this system tonight or if I make good time I might make it to Thicket Wood Lake we'll see wind is uh, coming up actually bit of a, a swell on this tiny lake here I got to get way out on Thicket Wood to find a campsite so we'll play it by ear see how it goes Beaver's coming closer. Here we go. It's Wildlife City. I just saw a bear on the other side of the portage on the far bank. I fired off a bear banger. Okay, that beaver's pretty chilled out, but the otters seem to have uh, disappeared. <laughs> I gotta get going here on the portage in case that bear decides to uh, swim across the river and check me out. Hello, Mr. Beaver there is uh, just cruising around. Oh, it's too bad I couldn't get those otters on film. Just finished a short portage around this falls. Marked as 125 meters on the map. It's all my stuff. When I came down to check it out, I saw a bear on the far bank over there. So I yelled and then it ran towards me. So I fired a bear banger straight up in the air. Haven't seen it since. But I better not hang around just in case. Just had to pull over that log. I was bouncing up there. Too bad that somebody could not film me doing that. It's kind of interesting. It's dangerous for the boat. You can snap your boat in the midsection uh, when the log is that high. I took the risk and uh, didn't hear any horrible sounding cracking sound. Okay, onwards. We got a bad situation here. Since the portage crew came came by this part of Sabron Creek and uh, cleared it, there's been a big blowdown across the river here. I could probably drag across these logs, but uh, those are too hot. Those are too high, obviously. Um, I got to get out on shore and scout. It's a jungle in there. I don't want to bushwhack through that alder. That could be painful. We got some forest full of blowdown up here. It's uh, bad either side. I don't know what I'm going to do. I wasn't planning on this. And of course I'm totally committed now. I have to get out of this creek. Okay. 
figure out something. While I bushwhacked around the other side, I went the jungle route. It wasn't horrifically bad, but it was very time consuming. Had to drag the boat in places because the trees are down or too close together. And I scouted just down the bank and unfortunately around the corner there's a few more. I'm hoping it's not as intense as this and I can, uh, and they're not directly across and I can scoot over one end. This could be a long day and I could get trapped and this could be a dead end and I might have to work my way back to Big Shell because this is the only way out. Have saw, will travel. Never travel the Boreal Forest without a big saw. You're going to need it. I just sawed this snag away here and I should be able to push that out of the way and keep going. Uh, there's more down. Uh, up ahead I think I can scoot around those. We'll see. More terrible blowdown across. I just came from there, or through there rather, and uh, I had to get out on the logs and slide my boat over. I tried cutting but the saw bound halfway through. But I was able to get on the log, make it sink, and haul my boat over. Well, I made it to my Plan B lake. Um, partway on Saburn Creek, I didn't make it all the way to Thicketwood. There was too much blow down across the creeks to deal with, which slowed me down. And uh, I just spent close to another hour cutting some of this uh, blow down away from this little patch of grass right here in a massive blowdown. This was marked as a campsite, but uh, everything is blown down and the shrubs, the weeds are coming up. This probably was a nicer campsite with maybe several tent pads. I saw this patch of grass here and cleared out some of the rose thorns. That's tedious work. There's some rocks around here which makes me think I've, I've loosened those and rolled them out. Rolled them out. I'm, I'm wondering if they uh, they were this this was a tent pad here and these were rocks people used. We'll never know what's back there. It's completely occupied by woody shrubs now. Another patch of grass over there, but it's covered in blowdown and dense shrubs. This campsite's probably lost forever unless it burnt very, 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 very hot and killed all this, this birch and raspberry and uh, hazel, beaked hazel, alder and birch. Actually, the more I look at it, the more beaked hazel is in there. Yeah, what a mess. I had to cut my way into it from where I stored my boat over there. It's very awkward to unload here. There's a ledge there. So I cleared some debris from my boat there. There was a natural opening and I cut this small corridor here to get access to the rest of the camp. Blow down city.